Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and this photo that I've linked as the background of this that I'm voicing over came through my feed just a little bit ago from a uh, page on Facebook called Bodybuilding Motivation, just so people know where I got it, and I'm not just ripping it off here. And it really sums up a lot of what I think about the whole bodybuilding world today. One of the reasons I'm not a fan of bodybuilding, and yes, that even includes so-called natural bodybuilding as well, because they look freakish and disgusting by everyone's standards out there outside of the community for their own set of reasons. And it kind of shows how far we've come because you've got a bodybuilder on the right. I'm not sure who that's supposed to be, but that is like the, the type of grotesque physiques that you see uh, promoted in bodybuilding today. And again, this is coming as an outsider looking in. I am not a bodybuilder. I do not consider myself to be a bodybuilder. I am not a fan of bodybuilding, but I am a fan of what a lot of the bodybuilders were doing generations ago. Guys like Steve Reeves, who's pictured on the left, because these guys developed their their appearance just through healthy eating and diet and training hard, training heavy, combining full body training, a lot of big lifts with cardio because Steve Reeves trained full body Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's how he trained. He didn't have body part split. What guys like him did who wanted to emphasize a body part, what they would tell you instead of a split, they would just come in to train those body parts first. Normally on most body part splits, you, you know, you start with the big movements and then go to the smaller movements. You start with things like squats and deadlifts and work your way down. If he wanted to work on his biceps more, he did arms before he would squat. He would do arms before he would deadlift pretty straightforward. That's how they prioritize things. And it worked great. Look how they look. They all look fantastic. And a big part of the reason that they were able to maintain a, a look that would still be attractive to the majority of women out there, the majority of people who saw them would say that person is in shape, they have a great body, even today from that era is because they didn't diet down excessively lean, they just got athletically lean. They didn't use excessive amount of drugs because they simply didn't have access to them. And again, a lot of the characteristics you see even in so-called natural bodybuilding are still indicative of very heavy drug use. And on top of that, they didn't. their bodies don't look like a big mix match of body parts because of the way that they trained. If they wanted something to grow faster, they simply prioritized some of the isolation work for it earlier in their training before doing all their big heavy compounds. They focused upon getting stronger. They focused on getting stronger on all their big lifts, everything from deadlifts and squats to bench press to weighted chin-ups and weighted dips and overhead presses and push presses. And then they would throw in isolation work to, to refine whatever else they wanted to work on. But they trained and focused upon getting strong on all of these big lifts. That was the foundation of their training. They understood how to get enough weekly workload and frequency in by training. Full body three times a week was the norm all through that era. And they got enough rest. And it, again, to help them get leaner, they would just clean up their diet and do some cardio so that they could get to an acceptable level of leanness. And they also really didn't let themselves get out of shape very often the way that people do with the bulks and cuts, but they also didn't get excessively lean. So they didn't really have to do a whole lot of dieting or cutting for the most part. And it worked really well for that era. And it produced fantastic physiques that only required guys to train three days a week, be in the gym three days a week, didn't have to do excessive diets in any direction. They didn't require excessive drug use in any way. And it produced results that are far better than what we see anywhere in this community today. And I understand that's a subjective standard that's coming from my perspective. But I think you'll find if you ask normal people who are outside of this community, they'll agree with that. And that's not about mediocrity. It's about understanding that what has been promoted in this community today in the modern world is extreme and grotesque and weird. It's about being a freak. It is not about actually attaining some sort of pinnacle that the average person would look up to and admire. So when people talk about these things like greatness versus mediocrity, greatness would be to build something that the average person would look up to as being on a higher level and say, wow, see, that's impressive. That person is impressive. They're strong. They look great. They look fit. They look healthy. I wish I could do that. That's what greatness is. It's not promoting mediocrity like a lot of people like to pretend that it is. The people who want to be a freak, there's generally something wrong with them psychologically. They're broken psychologically in some way if they feel the desire to actually call themselves a freak. And that's what this community has promoted. Instead of promoting actual greatness or something that other people would admire and look up to. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.